Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Wednesday, January 10th. I'm Christy Matino. We are now just days away from the Iowa caucuses, and our Samantha Joe Roth has been on the ground there for the past week. She shares more from GOP presidential candidate Nikki Haley's third and final event. I'm Samantha Joe Roth. I'm here on the campaign trail for the Washington Examiner. We are here in Bettenborg, Iowa, and this is where Nikki Haley just had her third and final event. There is a really interesting theme that I'm starting to see throughout the Nikki Haley events that I've been to, and what I'm seeing is there are a significant number of Democrats who are switching uh, the registration to Republican to be able to caucus for Nikki Haley. According to some of the voters that I've spoken with here, you know, they're not happy with the way that the country is going. They think that President Biden is too old. As we've seen over the last couple of weeks, Haley in the polls here in Iowa has not been doing as well as she had been in previous uh, polling. So, you know, the big question is, is she going to see some momentum throughout the state as she travels? Um, over the next couple of days, she has committed to being here in Iowa. So we're just going to have to keep following her. Um, and for the very latest, we'll keep you updated on the campaign trail. And President Joe Biden didn't learn about Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin's cancer diagnosis until Tuesday morning. Secretary was uh, Austin was very clear, and we appreciate that he uh, has taken responsibility for this. But I also want to say that we certainly hope uh, that he fully recovers and also gets back to the Pentagon. Austin's prostate cancer diagnosis was disclosed publicly Tuesday afternoon, just hours after the president learned the news, even though Austin reportedly received the diagnosis himself last month. Despite this, John Pierre said Biden has full confidence in Austin, and Kirby added the president plans to keep him on as defense secretary through the end of his term in office. Secretary of Defense himself took full responsibility in his statement over the weekend. I mean, he had put it on his shoulders. And GOP presidential candidate and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis held his televised town hall on Tuesday night. He used it as an opportunity to go after former President Donald Trump, former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley, and President Joe Biden. Here's how DeSantis responded to a question about whether he thinks Biden will seek re-election later this year due to his age. I just think there's clearly people in the Democratic Party who look and say, you know what, this guy is a, a few fries short of a Happy Meal. That's just the reality, okay? He also took aim at his fellow GOP presidential candidates. Donald Trump's running for his issues. Nikki Haley's running for her donors' issues. I'm running for your issues, your family's issues, and to turn this country around. This was the governor's last of his platforms to speak directly to likely Iowa caucus goers before next week's opening 2024 Republican primary nominating contest on January 15th. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow online and on social media so you stay in the know. Follow those headlines trending in politics.